Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I'm going to go over a tip that can save you a ton of gold right now in Lost Ark. And this has to do with how you obtain your battle health potions. Now there's three normal ways you go about getting these. First off is crafting them in your stronghold and you would use materials you get from foraging, some stronghold energy, and some gold and that will allow you to craft the different potions. The second way is to just buy them off of the market from other players and they get these from also crafting them in their hideout. Then the third way is to get them from the shop. And the main thing I want to go over today is the cheapest way to get these potions right now. Now with the method I'm going over in this video, you can obtain any of the different health potions you want, but I'm going to be using the major HP potions to go over this information because I think these are the main ones you should be using for most of the content we're doing right now. I'm personally not wasting any of my elemental health potions on the content we're doing right now. I'm saving these all for the much harder raids down the line when those come out because these are much more valuable. So for the pricing of crafting these items in your hideout, so right here, we have major HP potion times three. So this is how much it's going to cost to craft three health potions. Now I do have some reductions, but this is the general cost. It's going to cost nine shy wild flowers and 18 normal wild flowers. And these are just the different rarities of forging materials. Then it'll cost 143 stronghold energy, which isn't a lot, but then it's going to cost me 14 gold for crafting just three of them. Now I have a reduction and I think just because I have any reduction to put them down to 14, these are normally 15 gold to craft the three health potions. So just in gold cost, it's 15 gold. And then you have to factor in all of the different flowers you have to craft here. And this is still a pretty good way to obtain these. This is going to be much cheaper than buying them just off the market. And generally it's not super expensive obtaining your potions in this way. But right now there is a way to get these potions for around 3.8 gold a piece. And that's the only cost for them. It doesn't also have a material cost on them. And this is going to be one of the items from the store. So if you go to your store and you go over to Mary's shop and you go over to the second section, there will be a potion boxes being sold in here. Now, if you just scroll through a little bit, you'll find healing battle item chest, and it gives you five of these chests. This is 25 crystals. And in these chests, you can choose which type of potion you want. Now you get different amounts per potion, but like I mentioned, we're comparing this using the major HP potions. So every one of these boxes is going to give us 10 of the major health potions. You get five boxes, you're getting 50 of the blue potions. Now for this 50 health potions, it's only going to cost you 25 crystals. And if you want to buy these crystals, you go over to the currency exchange, go to buy crystals, and it's going to cost you 735 gold for 95 crystals right now. Now currently at these prices, this is around four gold per potion. It fluctuates up and down a little bit, just like 10, 15 minutes ago, this price was like 20 gold cheaper for the crystals. So it was around 3.8 gold per potion at that point, but it's going to be, I say on average, four gold per one of these potions. So if we go back to our stronghold, just the gold crafting cost for these health potions at base prices would cost five gold per potion. It's slightly cheaper for me, but baseline it's five gold per one of these potions. And that doesn't include all of the resources right here that you have to craft them with. This is just a crafting cost and not the materials you actually use to craft them. So buying these potions right now from the shop is just multitudes cheaper than crafting them yourself. And if you go to the shop, there usually will be at least a few of these boxes. So it's not like you can only buy one of these boxes a day. So we have one right here, 50 potions. One right here, 100 potions. One right here, 150 potions. One right here, 200 potions. Another right here, 250 potions. Another right here, 300 potions. Another right here, 350 potions. Another right here, 400 potions. So right now, which I'm probably going to end up doing, I can buy 400 potions for around 3.8 to 4 gold per potion. And I would recommend doing this right now because I have a feeling this is going to get nerfed. And they have actually already nerfed stuff from the shop before because I actually did a video probably a week or two ago where you could buy these tier 3 gem chests and make massive amounts of gold on this. You could triple or quadruple your gold just buying these chests and selling them in the market. Now, when I made that video, when you bought this 
item, it would give you 20 of these chests. Now they nerfed it to only give you six. So it was that overpowered buying one of these that they ended up nerfing it by over half. And I have a feeling these chests right here are definitely going to end up getting nerfed. These are ridiculously cheap. As I'd recommend going through and buying all of these health potions. Stock yourself up. Even if you're not getting the major HP potions out of these, I would stock up on these and start getting the elemental potions out of them and stock those up and save those up for when the raids come out because those are incredibly important for the hardest content in the game. Now there is one thing I would like to mention that may cause you to still want to craft these health potions in your stronghold, at least for right now, and if you're someone that already has a lot of gold and other resources. Now crafting these major health potions are much more expensive in the stronghold like we just went over, but you also get pretty decent stronghold experience for every single thing you craft in your stronghold. So crafting just three health potions, so one craft, I'll get 288 stronghold experience. And if I go up to 10, which is how much I can craft at one time, I will get 2,880 experience. So quite a bit of experience because I'm at 53,000 experience out of 69,000 to level up. So this will give me a pretty good chunk just crafting these XP potions. You can still level up your stronghold decently quickly, just sending out your ship and doing your other activities in your stronghold to level it up. But if you're someone with a lot of gold already, it may still be worth for you to keep crafting these to keep leveling up your stronghold quicker. But even if you're doing that, I would still recommend you go in and buy all of the health potions from the shop just because it's such a good deal. But that's pretty much all I want to go over for this video. So go buy those potions from the shop to save yourself a massive amount of gold. So subscribe if you want to see more Lost Ark or other MMO videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about saving gold through this method. And thanks for watching.